for about five years now and I haven't tried like too many many different brands but I definitely have found some things I would consider to be my favorites. So I guess let's start with the basic sketching. I don't use anything too particular or specific. I just use whatever mechanical pencil I can find. I just like it because the lead's thin and sometimes I'll take uh, a piece of sandpaper to get the lead even thinner. And then in combination with that, I always have a kneaded eraser. Ever since I saw Drawing with Waffles use kneaded erasers, I cannot live without them. They're just, they're so much nicer than regular erasers because you can pull up the lead as you work to lighten things or just, or you can make it into a fine point to get individual details. It helps me control my values a lot more, and then if I'm working in watercolor, it helps me lighten my sketch so I can go in with the paints. That one tool has completely changed my artistic experience. Sometimes I sketch using a Prismacolor Color Erase Pencil. They're nice, I just, they don't get very dark. I go for their phases where sometimes I prefer to use those, sometimes I prefer to use a mechanical pencil, it just depends. Now for watercolor. I've tried a few different watercolor brands. I tried, I originally started out with a Windsor & Newton set, but I didn't really like them. And I moved on to St. Petersburg White Knights watercolors. And I was like obsessed with them for a while. They were my absolute favorite thing ever, but now I don't really like them anymore, but they still make up the majority of my palette. Hi. The paints don't get very dark, but for basic watercolors, they've lasted me a few years now. My favorite watercolors in my set are my core watercolors. I know which ones on the palette are core, but I don't remember what specific colors they are, but like now when I paint, I almost primarily just use those. Cause I got like a basic set and then like an earth tone set. I'm like attached to the, my watercolor palette, but I think I should get a new one and set it up with just core watercolors and like organize it a bit better. In terms of brushes, I have the set of Princeton snap brushes, I think. They're not too expensive and they've lasted me a long time. I really like them. I'm not too particular with the brushes I use. I can notice a slight difference, but not like a crazy difference. Like I don't need anything special. For paper, I use Arches Hot Press watercolor paper. I use cold press for years and years, like most people, but I was like completely sick of the texture it would give you. I feel like the texture just makes it look dirty and gross. So I have a hot press block. It just it's so much better. The smooth paper is so nice. The colors show up so much better. It's easier to get details. And it's also really nice. A lot of times I go into my watercolors of color pencil, so it, it takes color pencil really well. Arches Hot Press is my absolute favorite paper ever. The only other paper I use for watercolor is occasionally um, Strathmore's color pencil. It's too thin to like super do watercolor on it, but it, I, I like the way it looks on there. For color pencils, I don't do like wool on color pencil drawings much anymore. I used to a lot, but I still love my Prismacolor color pencils, like basic bitch, but I don't know, they're so nice. Uh, occasionally I use Faber-Castell ones. I have like a set of those I got. For blending my Prismacolors, I use one of the Prismacolor pencils that are made to blend with. I used to use like Q-tips and the little rolly things I can't think of the name of, but it's much easier just to use layering to blend. And then what paper I use, I use that Strathmore color pencil paper. I could probably find a better paper for it, but I don't use it enough to warrant it. Now for oils, I haven't been using oils for too long, but I got two sets for Christmas. I got a Windsor & Newton set and a Grumbacher set, and both of them are super nice and I love them. Like, you can tell the Grumbacher is higher quality, but I've been going through the Windsor & Newton set first to practice with. I love both of them. The medium I use is Windsor & Newton Water Mixable Oil Color Painting Medium, which I didn't realize I grabbed a water mixable one, but I'm, I'm like still confused on how mediums work because I can't get like too clear of an answer and I don't know which one I need, but this one has been working for me well. And then I saw in a Kelsey Rodriguez video where she put her oil painting medium in a drop or two, and so I've started doing that and it literally changed my life. It's so much easier to use it like that because I used to have like a little cup but the cup would always get like tainted with o the oil color and the dropper just makes it so much easier because I'll just drop it straight on my palette. Speaking of palettes, I like to use palette paper now because I feel like I can never get the palettes clean enough. For my acrylic, I just use the Hobby Lobby generic brand. Uh, I think it's Master's Touch. 
I swear to God, you don't need a fancy acrylic brand. I don't know what it is about acrylic, but you can just get like the dollar store one and it works good. Like I haven't had any problems with it. They've been treating me well. With both my acrylic and oil paintings, I just use those prints and snap brushes. I know you're supposed to have specific brushes for watercolor and oil and acrylic, but I'm still on a budget, so the cheaper option works best for me. I usually paint on canvas boards with just the Hobby Lobby generic brand, Gesso. I really like canvas boards compared to canvas because I, I hit the the give of the canvas fabric plus canvas boards are a lot easier to store and I think they're like cheaper too some things I also use is um, I have an iPad I use it for my digital drawing plus it's how I prep a lot of my other paintings on there I create my references for my grid drawings or I might do the sketch on my iPad and then instead of drawing straight on the hot press paper I use procreate because at the time it was kind of the only drawing app on the iPad but I don't have any issues with it I know there's like a few more now I know there's like an Adobe one my iPad completely changed how I tackle art I love it so much and then obviously sometimes I just do sketches on there. I don't digitally paint too too much because it takes 12 hours for one but it's really fun. When I do have a sketch on there that I want to put onto a different piece of paper, if it's something like a hot press watercolor block or a canvas board, I'll just grid draw it but if it's on like a loose sheet of paper, I'll take out my light box. This is a Cricut light box. I really like it. I've had it for a few years now. I don't use it too too much anymore but it still works great. For cutting my paper, I have this Fiskars little cutting thing. It's a guillotine cutter that I'm not scared I'll cut my fingers off, which is good. I have a Grumbacher workable fixative, which I've been using on my sketchbook because I've been doing a lot of graphite drawings lately. It doesn't work too, too well sometimes. I don't know why, but oh well. This is my sketchbook. It's a ELO sketchbook because clearly obsessed with drawing with waffles. I've gotten used to it by now because I've had it for like almost a year now, but I don't really like it that much. That's why I've barely done anything into it till now. I just don't like the paper that much. I do think I like bound sketchbooks now because before I, I only ever used like, I almost always use like Canson XL sketchbooks pretty much like or some variation from that brand for any other art supplies I just kind of use whatever I have around for the mediums I use a lot those are the ones where I have like strong opinions on the stuff I use I hope this was helpful to you in any way when I was younger on YouTube I like to watch people show off what art supplies they use because obviously art supplies aren't gonna suddenly make you a better artist but they can definitely help if you find the ones that enhance the way you work because like you know I like fine detail with my watercolors and stuff so using textured cold press paper was getting in my way and making it hard for me to make paintings I like. So making the switch to hot press paper after like years and years of cold press paper has like super enhanced my watercolor paintings. So if you're a young artist and you're struggling, maybe just try switching what art supplies you use. Oh, like when I was first starting watercolor and using Winsor & Newton, I completely was like, this sucks and watercolor is awful and I hate it. And by switching to the White Knights originally, it was like, whoa, watercolor could be fun. Anyway, so this one I did a bit differently. I didn't record with a script like you can probably obviously tell because I'm kind of rambly. Because in my last video, I sounded like I was like I was reading in front of a class and I felt bad about that. I'm still in that stage of like embarrassed to talk on camera. Still getting used to things uh, for general art updates. Getting a lot closer to being done on that Nintendo piece because I've been working on it since December. I really like the painting, but I'm so sick of working on it and I want it to be done and out of my life. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.